Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we will discuss about Indian Ocean Dipole and its effect on Indian Monsoon. In our previous videos we have discussed about El Nino and we have seen in El Nino how the surface winds change their direction, how the warm waters are taken towards the South American region during El Nino phase and we see there is a change in thermocline. Moreover, the rainfall shifts to South American region. And similarly, we saw in La Nina that the surface winds again change their direction with the warm water getting concentrated over Australian region, the thermocline going downwards in the Australian region and going upwards in the South American region and rainfall occurring over Australia. So this is the whole process that we have already discussed in another video. But today we are going to discuss about Indian Ocean Dipole. Now Indian Ocean Dipole is very similar to El Nino and that is why it is called Indian Ocean El Nino. So our Indian Ocean Dipole has mainly three phase. The first is neutral phase. Now generally hot water enters our Bay of Bengal region from the Pacific Ocean. We can see that this hot water came from the Pacific region and because of this there exists a temperature difference between the Western Indian Ocean and Eastern Indian Ocean. And because of this surface temperature difference, there is a low pressure region near the Bay of Bengal and there is a high pressure region near the Arabian Sea. But in neutral phase, this difference in pressure is very less because the difference in temperature is small. And therefore, the wind which blows from this high pressure region to low pressure region is also not very strong. But what happens sometimes, the pressure difference between the Western Indian Ocean and the Eastern Indian Ocean it increases and we see that the high pressure and the low pressure difference also increases and therefore the wind circulation also becomes very strong. Now these wind circulations are moving with a very high speed. They are able to concentrate the hot water in the region towards the Indonesian islands. We can see that here there is a depletion of water because the water is carried by these currents in the eastern Indian Ocean direction and therefore because of the depletion of water here, water from deeper parts of our oceans, they rise up to fulfill the depletion of water over here. While in these parts, because of accumulation of hot water, we see some of the hot water, it goes in the deeper parts of the ocean. And thus, the thermocline here deepens, while here, the thermocline we can see is near to the surface. Moreover, the air over here is rising up. This air, which is traveling over the Indian Ocean, carries a lot of moisture. So when it rises up, there is adiabatic cooling and thus we see that there is a lot of rainfall in this region. This rainfall can extend up to even northern Australia. So we see that in negative IOD phase, there is rainfall in this region while in the African region, the air is descending and therefore it is getting adiabatically heated and therefore it does not bring any rainfall to the African region. In the later part of the video, we will see how this negative phase of IOD affects Indian monsoon. Now let's see what happens in positive phase of Indian Ocean Dipole. We can see now the winds change their direction. There is a low pressure region in the Arabian Sea side and there is high pressure region in the Bay of Bengal side. A very strong wind current moves from this high pressure region towards this low pressure region. We can see that the hot water now gets concentrated near African continent. We see that because of this accumulation of water, the water will go in the downward direction and the thermocline will go in the deeper parts of ocean. Here, because the water is removed from this region, we will see that there is depletion of water. Therefore, water from deeper parts of ocean rises up and we see cold water in this region and therefore, this thermocline is very close to the surface. Now during the positive phase we see that air rises over the African continent and because it carries a lot of moisture there is adiabatic cooling and we get a lot of rainfall in this region while over here now these winds are descending and therefore it is adiabatically heated and therefore we will not get any rain in this region. So these are the three phases of Indian Ocean Dipole and we can see that how it influences the surface winds as well as rainfall in different regions and the thermocline and accumulation of hot water and cold water in different regions of Indian Ocean. Now let's see how Indian Ocean Dipole affects Indian Monsoon. We know that Indian Monsoon is brought by southwesterly winds. These are easterly winds in the southern hemisphere but when they cross the equator they change their direction and become southwesterly winds. 
These winds they bring monsoon to our Indian subcontinent and they are mainly divided into two branches. This one is called the Arabian branch because it comes from Arabian Sea and the second one is this one which comes from Bay of Bengal towards Indian subcontinent and it is called the Bay of Bengal branch. So there are mainly two branches of monsoon winds which come to our country and give rainfall over here. Now here we can see those monsoon winds. We can see that these are the easterly winds in southern hemisphere but when they cross this equator they change their direction because the Coriolis force effect changes and therefore they become westerly winds and when they reach our Indian subcontinent it gives rainfall over here. Now in neutral phase we see that there is high pressure over here and low pressure over our Indian subcontinent because here there is winter season and therefore there is high pressure. Here there is summer season our land is heated because of sun rays and therefore here is a low pressure established. Now we have seen that hot water enters our Bay of Bengal from Pacific Ocean. So we can see that there is hot water over here and there is slight difference between pressures on both sides of our Indian Ocean. We see that there is a mild high pressure and there is a mild low pressure in this region. Therefore a very weak air current moves over here. You can see the air cell over here and the wind is moving slowly in this cell. Therefore it does not affect the Indian monsoon that much when it is in neutral phase. But what happens when it is the negative phase? In the negative phase we know that there is cold water over here and there is warm water over here. Now because there is cold water over here, there is a high pressure region over here and there is a low pressure region over here. Now these pressure regions are well established. Now here we can see that there is a high pressure established because of cold water over here. Now here is also high pressure, here is also high pressure. So the wind which was moving from here to here will reduce because in between there is a high pressure and we know that more the pressure difference between two areas there will be more flow of air but because in between here there is a high pressure region therefore the amount of air which is coming from here will reduce. So because of this the amount of air flow towards our Indian subcontinent decreases. Secondly here there is cold water therefore there is less evaporation. And therefore the air current which is moving over here will carry less moisture when they reach our Indian subcontinent. So because of this the Arabian Sea is affected in two ways. First the air flow over Arabian Sea decreases. Secondly the moisture content of this air decreases. Now secondly what happens that here there is low pressure and we know that air moves from high pressure to low pressure. So some of the winds which are moving in the Bay of Bengal current and reaching our Indian subcontinent. They, here you can see they are diverted now. They are moving to the Southeast Asian region because here there is low pressure region. So the air is naturally diverted a little bit and they are brought to this, these regions. So therefore you can see that negative phase of Indian Ocean Dipole it affects our Indian Ocean in a negative way. It reduces rainfall from both Arabian Sea Branch and Bay of Bengal Sea Branch. Here it reduces the airflow as well as the moisture content and here it diverts some of the air to the Southeast Asian region thus negatively affecting our Indian monsoon and thus decreasing the amount of rainfall in India. Now let's see what happens in positive phase of our Indian Ocean Dipole. In positive phase we see there is low pressure over here and there is high pressure over here. Now we know because of this low pressure more air will flow towards here because more the pressure difference more air comes. And here there is low pressure so more air will reach over here. Now there is warm air over here and because of this warm air we will see that there will be more moisture in this region. Therefore this air which is moving over it will carry more moisture. Now here there is a high pressure region and we know that air moves from high pressure to low pressure region and here there is low pressure region. So some of the wind currents which are moving towards Myanmar or the Southeast Asian region will be deflected towards India because now the pressure gradient is from here towards this direction towards Indian subcontinent. Therefore we can see that positive phase of Indian Ocean Dipole positively affects both Arabian Sea branch monsoon and Bay of Bengal monsoon branch because here more moisture is available as well as there is more airflow and here some of the wind currents are diverted towards India and therefore it increases the amount of rainfall in the monsoon season thus positively impacting the Indian monsoon. 
I hope you liked our video. In the next video, we will be discussing the combined effect of Indian Ocean Dipole and El Nino on Indian Monsoon. So please stay tuned for that video. And if you have liked this video, then please subscribe our channel and do share it with your friends. Please do not forget to follow us on our social media handles. Thank you.